Lucky Stage 3 Level 4 based on National Curriculum Level Descriptors. So let's start with Level 4 Number. A bit of rounding to start with. Round to the nearest thousand. So we need to appreciate the column, which is the thousands column. So this actually says 3,000. So there's the thousands column. The next number isn't five or more. Therefore, no rounding up necessary. In this number, it says 32,699. So that's the thousands column. The next number is five or more, therefore we round up by one value, making it 33,000. Now what have we got here? We've got 279,000. So therefore that's the thousands column, 279,876. That is five or more, so it round up by one more. So the nine, one more will become ten, which will actually turn that into an eight. So we've got 280,000 to the nearest thousand. 54,349, so there's our thousands column. Don't round up 54,000. Identifying factors of numbers. So what we need to do is to make sure we know and remember what the word factors mean. So let's remind ourselves. Factors are the list of numbers which divide exactly into a number. So 6. 1 goes into 6. 2 goes into 6. 3 goes into 6. And 6 goes into 6. Exactly. You're always going to get 1 and the number itself. So what are the factors of 11? 1 and the number itself. And nothing else. So in fact 11 has only got two factors. What are the factors of 12? Well it's 1 and the number itself. And you've got 2 because 2 6 is a 12. And you've got 3 because 3 4 is a 12. What are the factors of 18? You've got 1 and the number itself. Then you've got 2 and 2 9 is 18. And you've got 3 because 3 6 is 18, so in fact you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sorry, 6 factors. So you could be asked to list the factors, or say how many factors. And to say how many factors, you've got to list them anyway to count them. Factors of a number. Using the terms multiple, factor, prime and square. So what are the multiples of 4? Well, multiples is just your tables. So the multiples of 4 are the numbers in the 4 times table. So you've got 4, 8, 12, 16, on and on and on to infinity. What are the multiples of 7? Well, then you've got your 7 times table on and on and on to infinity. So all we've got to do is remember the word multiples means your tables for a particular number. Is 3 a prime number? Well, let's go back to what I did earlier where I wrote down the factors. And 3 has only got two factors. And any number that's got exactly and only two factors is a prime number. Any number that's got exactly two factors and only two factors is a prime number. In other words, one and its number itself. Is nine a prime number? Well, the factors of nine are one and three and nine. So it's got three factors. Therefore, no. 9 is not prime. Why? Because it's got more than two factors. So if we're asked to list the prime numbers, we're listing all the numbers 
which have got exactly two factors one and themselves so all of these numbers and they go off to infinity all of these numbers have got themselves and one as factors a prime number has two factors and these numbers have all got two factors square numbers we should know what the word square means these are square numbers how do we work those out well we work out what 1 times 1 is we could work out what 2 times 2 is we work out what 3 times 3 is we work out 4 times 4 5 times 5 6 times 6 and if we work out any number multiplied by itself we will produce a square number any number multiplied by itself will produce a square number read write and order numbers up to 1 million so we need to be able to write them and read them and put them in order just for example read this number and then write it using digits 46,026 46,026 102,000 102,000 so I need three noughts there and 12 so I need one nought and a one and a two we don't put commas in those places now just leave a little gap but by habit I tend to put the comma in so we're meant to be able to read a number and write it using digits also if it's in digits write it in words so this is 45,000 45,000 and 7 this one is 320,000 there's the thousands column so it's 300 and 20,000 204 207,301 67,301 so we're meant to be able to write them in numbers or digits and write them in words and put them in order another thing under heading is uh, under the heading of numbers coordinates coordinates in the first quadrant if you draw a pair of axes the x-axis and the y-axis you're splitting the page into four places this is called the first quadrant so finding coordinates in the first quadrant for example write down the coordinates of a b c and d on this or is the x value first and the y value second so A is 1, 3. B is 3, 1. So it's a case of remembering that it's the X value first and the Y value second. So C is actually naught on the X axis and 1 up the Y axis. D is 7. First number, 7X and naught of the y-axis so we need to be able to read coordinates and also plot them so let's plot these points 5 1 first number is x and this is across the page 5 1 is there f naught 3 so across the page naught and up to page 3 and g 3 2 along 3 and up 2 so it's a case of remembering the first number is across the page first.